And I welcome each and every one of you to our worship on this happy Father's Sunday. We honor our fathers here on earth and give thanks to God for all the father figures in our lives. Some of us may not have our fathers, but God has been our heavenly fathers who loved us. And with that, we give thanks to our heavenly father and also give thanks to our earthly fathers. Happy Father's Day to all of you. Part of our service today, we hear some of our young people and children send their Happy Father's message. Also, get to participate uh, our 37th annual conference um, for this year, which we hear from the bishop and also be part of the opening worship with the theme, Restoration the parables of the pandemic. So I invite you as we gather to worship and give thanks to God in spirit and in truth, to honor our fathers and to be part of our 37th California Pacific annual session these last few days. May God's spirit be with us. Let us worship him in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
The laughter of children and a community at Tonga Park in Santa Monica takes us back to a traditional village. We remember you. Your names are remembered when we see signs like Topanga, Tahunga, Kahwenga, Akoima, Kukamanga, and Kavona. Thank you, people of Tonga, for welcoming us to Young. Meha, chao boi chieva chao mu. Buenas tardes y bienvenido. Maloni. Half a day, buenos tardes. Konnichiwa yokoso. Talo for lava. Anya sayo wang yong hamnida. Aloha ahi ahi aho okipa. Hello, guten abend. Malo lele. Ni hao wan yin. Good afternoon and welcome to the opening worship led by the young people and the friends of our conference. Greeting you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We bid you greetings, Bishop Hagia, members of the cabinet, youth and young adults, clergy, laity, distinguished guests, and to all of you, our extended family, for joining us online at home or wherever you are in this precious world of ours. Welcome to Restoration Parables of the Pandemic the gathering and most important part of the 37th annual session of the California Pacific Conference, worship. Although we had hoped to be able to meet, fellowship, and praise together in person, we thank God for the gift of technology and the amazing people that have worked together throughout the year to ensure we are still connected, no matter where you are tuning in from. 2020 and throughout 2021, we have experienced trials and tribulations, suffering and separation, sadness and isolation. We give God praise, glory and honor for this day to be united in worship and to bless the beginning of our time together. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this space. As we, your beloved gather, may our worship be pleasing unto you, Lord. Bless our conference. Anoint our leaders with your grace and wisdom. Instill in us your peace that in all we say and do is led by your spirit. Be our guiding light and illuminate our hearts to be just, to love and diligently practice kindness and compassion with one another and walk humbly with you, our God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Children of Norwood, 
today is a very special Sunday. Today is Father's Day, but I'm going to call it Happy Person That Raised You Day. Not all of us were raised by our fathers. Some were raised by our brothers, our sisters, our moms, our aunts, our uncles, even our grandparents. Some were raised in foster homes. Some don't know our dads. Some dads are in heaven. Some dads are essential workers that you can't see right now. Some are in places that you can't go to. But that's okay. Today I want you to reach out, whether it's in prayer, write a letter, send a Facebook message, a phone call, or even a Zoom video. And I want you to reach out to that person that helped raise you and say you appreciate them and that you love them. I'm thankful for my dad cooking chicken and beef. And my sister is thankful for Grandpa for being all on time. Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day! Day. Bye. I'd like to wish a Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, thank you for all you do for us. Also, a special thank you to the men who aren't fathers, but who still love us, support us, and raise us up. Thank you. We're so lucky to have people like you in our lives. I hope you all have a wonderful day, relaxing and celebrating you. Hello, my name is Kalasita Tuifua, also known as Sita. Um, first off, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers in our church. Happy Father's Day to my dad, even though he's not here to celebrate with us but he is here in spirit. So happy Father's Day. Um... Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. I wanna say a special happy Father's Day to my dad who's made such an impact in my life and also a special happy Father's Day to all the dads at the church who've touched my life in one way or another. Happy Father's Day, hope you have a great day. Good to see you. God bless. God bless. All the fathers in Noah United Methodist Church, we love you all. We appreciate you all. Um, thank you for everything you have done for us. And we would like to say happy Father. All the fathers in Noah United Methodist Church, we love you all. We appreciate you all. Um, thank you for everything you have done for us. And we would like to say happy Father. Say happy father all the fathers in Noah United Methodist. Thank you and happy Father's Day to all our Knowwood fathers and an additional thank you to all the men within our community that continue to be inspirations, support systems, and role models. Happy Father's Day. What a joy. Once there was this man who had two sons. One day, the younger son came to his father and said, Father, eventually I'm going to inherit my share of your estate. Rather than waiting until you die, I want you to give me my share now. And so the father liquidated assets and divided them. A few days passed and this younger son gathered all his wealth and set off on a journey to a distant land. Once there, he wasted everything he owned on wild living. He was broke. A terrible famine struck the land, desperately hungry and in need. He got a job with one of the locals who sent him to the field. The young 
man felt so miserably hungry that he wished he could eat the slop that pigs were eating. Nobody gave him anything. So he had this moment of self-reflection. What am I doing here? Back home, my father's hired servants have plenty of food. Why am I here starving to death? I'll get up and return to my father, and I'll say, Father, I have done wrong, wrong against God and against you. I have forfeited any right to be treated like your son, but I'm wondering if you treat me as one of your hired servants. So he got up and returned to his father. The father looked off in the distance and saw the young man returning. He felt compassion for his son and ran out to him, enfolded him in an embrace and kissed him. being made for. Trauma mended becomes something new. story of Kintsugi, a language that can speak into the divide, into the gap. Yes, in the reality of Kintsugi pots, we find a parable for us today, where we see brokenness. My hope as your bishop is that we will bring the people of repair, people of healing, people whose testimony of hope is that brokenness is not the end of the story. Siblings in Christ, yes, the toll of these pandemics have impacted us deeply. Yet in the midst of it all, we can be assured that we serve a God, the master potter, who can restore us Yes, in the reality of Kitsugi pots, we find a parable for us today. grateful for Aaron and um, the staff on that particular video and this theme, which they have crafted so well. So we are deeply thankful for all that has the thought and the, the depth that has been put into it. Um, I, I did want to share just a, a short, very short um, reflection on this. And that is we've been through so much as the video expressed. And I think we should take um, one minute in silence. And in that minute, we will think of and pray for the almost 600,000 people who have lost lives in this country, the over 2 million 
um, around the world that have lost lives and to really pray, pray for them and their surviving families. So will you join me in one minute of silence in prayer for all of those who will be lost? give them a memorial in a very positive way for all of us. So if you would like to put a name of someone you know who lost their lives to COVID-19, please feel free to do that. It's been so difficult to navigate this particular pandemic, but it's also when you add the other issues of other major pandemics on top of COVID-19, such as um, the worldwide anti-racism that we've witnessed, the loss of lives um, through um, nonsensical understandings of enforcement. Um, when we talk about the global pandemic in terms of all of these things, we realize the toll that it's taken on all of us. It's not just psychological, it is physical. We are um, not whole. Um, I recently listened to um, probably the, the parent of all uh, positive psychology, uh, Martin Seligman. And he had a wonderful way to put this. He said, the, the, the global pandemics have created a time of such dis-ease among us that we have been languishing in the midst of it. But he said, as we look to a, a future, we have to look to the future with optimism and hope. We have to look to a future that the languishing will not go away easily, but he is putting in the place of languishing a sense of optimism, a sense of flourishing, which is what his research is all about. And even though we're struggling still, we have to look to that future that God will provide for us. And very interesting, uh, uh, Seligman is a um, secular researcher, but he ended with a quote from uh, Julian of Norwich, uh, of which she lived through the great plague of 1300s. And I don't wanna give you the whole quote, but she basically said, um, God never promised us not suffering. God never promised us no death. God never promised us an easy road to paraphrase. What God promised is we would overcome. And I leave you with that thought because our Christian faith grounds us always in a future that is not the end of darkness, not the end um, uh, with death. It is a future 
always with hope. Hope in Jesus Christ. Hope in the gift of eternal life. And we pray that all of those who we lost and, and those that we cannot bring back waken to God's eternal realm of light and love and music. Thank you for this time of dedication to those we've lost. Join me in a short prayer. Oh God, it is a time of unprecedented sorrow for many of us, a time uh, where we've had to cope with things that we were not prepared for. It's a time for us to take stock of what we have lost, but also to take stock of that which we've gained. And it is a time for us to look towards the future with hope, O oh Lord. We are blessed with vaccines that have provided us the chance to uh, go out again, to get our lives back to some normality. We are blessed with the ability to open up our, our society. We also think of those parts in the world that do not have this luxury where COVID-19 is still raging among them, taking lives and stressing the system of health. Enable us, O oh Lord, to think of those who do not have what we have and to do everything in our power to help them get vaccines and deal with what we've gone through. But, O oh Lord, as we open up our churches, May it be a blessed homecoming. May it be a time of new church where we have to integrate all that we've learned to a different type of church. So on this day, we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, conqueror of death and the giver of new life. In his name, we pray. Amen.
that you're able to join us with our opening worship as part of our 37th annual conference that's going on right now. Also hear words of encouragement from our bishop and a special prayer for all of us. As you know, our theme for our conference this year is rest restoration, the parables of the pandemic. And the gospel reading come from the parables of the prodigal sons, John, uh, Luke chapter 15. This time I would like to ask and invite you to prepare your gift and offering. And also give thanks to God for those who are celebrating their birthdays. Caroline Monroe, Sile Okanatea, Alexandra Palantine, my birthday on the 11th, Linda Croy on the 12th, Margot Goodman, Destiny Thomas on June the 14th, Mott Willy also on June 14th, happy birthday to Ralph Croy on June 15th, and today is Brianna Palantine. So happy birthday to all of you from June 3rd, starting with Carolyn Monroe up to today. Um, our best wishes, happy birthday to each and every one of you, and our prayers that God will bless you with many more years for of uh, strength, joy, and happiness, and good health, and may God watch over you. Uh, also, uh, pray for those who need healing. Continue to pray for Winetti Tahafe. Thank you. She has been in the hospital, and now she's at home. Continue to pray for Jim Shaw. Um, I get to talk to Kay and Jim, and he is doing great, wonderful. And he's, uh, he just need your prayers that he restored his eyesight and more strength, and he'll return to work. Um, all the bound, homebound members continue to pray for Connie Krisafi, I spoke with her and she's very happy where she's at. Um, here from Jean Trout, Kathy Mitchell, Darlene Anderson. I spoke with George for, uh, Moreland. Uh, also keep Carolyn and her family, Carolyn Monroe and, and her family in your prayers. Uh, continue to pray for one another. Uh, Lift up uh, Pat Russell, that she's prepared for her upcoming surgery next month. Um, and for all of us, we're so grateful and thanks God that all the restrictions of the pandemic has been lifted uh, as of June 15. But uh, just be careful. Also, keep yourself cool. It's very hot during this uh, weeks. So keep yourself um, cool and stay indoors. Drink a lot of waters. For the next three days, we'll be having our Zoom annual conference, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And so grateful for our delegates, Ralph Croy and Lavaka Malakai and myself. We'll report to you all that's happening uh, uh, about uh, our own annual conference and everything that uh, have we talked about. Uh, other than that, let us come together and as you hold your envelopes, as we pray together and ask God to bless our gift and offering. Oh, Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you for this beautiful Sunday. You call us by name. We hear, O oh Lord, in spite of COVID-19 pandemic, you have been with us from 2020 to 2021. We gather with the bishop and the cabinet, clergy and delegates from Hawaii to Guam, Saipan, from San, Santa Barbara to San Diego. And we hear the witness of your love and your mercy and your grace. And we are so grateful. Yes, oh Lord, we are full of broken and there are so many suffering and challenges. Need your healing and comfort and love and your presence. Oh Lord, we thank you for those who celebrate their birthday. We name those who need your healing and comfort. We pray, oh Lord, 
that you abide in us and let us seek you in all that we do. We thank you, O oh Lord, that we come to a time in our seasons that we finally get to allow to go to places that we had never been and to visit our family. And we just continue to ask that you watch over us and protect us. Oh Lord, we hold our envelopes with gifts to offer to the body of Christ here in Norwood. We thank you for your faithful members who faithfully share their gift for your glory. And we pray that you bless them and bless our gift. Let it be a way that we offer to you to share the gospel and share God's love and make disciples for the transformation of the world. We lift up the bishop, the clergy, the delegates, and all the California Pacific Conference. And we pray, oh Lord, that you lead us and we put our faith and trust in you and our leaders. Hear our prayers today as we celebrate Father's Day. We thank you for all the fathers, the father figures in our lives, for those who you have called into eternity and fathers who are still here. They are the cornerstone of our families and our churches. I pray, oh Lord, for strength, for guidance, for wisdom, and we lift them up to you, oh God, that you will bless them with many years to come. Hear our prayers, O God, as we humbly surrender our lives and offer our lives as a living sacrifice to you, O Lord, our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you and hope you have a blessing Sabbath and the rest of the month of June. Let us come together and sing our closing hymn number 377. It is well with my soul before our benediction by Sita to Ifua.
the benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turns his face towards you and gives you peace. Amen. Thank you.